Hey, Chris from Working Forge here again. A little, a little addendum I had for the refinery um, piece I release, I'm release. i releasing for December's The Tribes program. Now, I did say it may, it, I had uh, Legion Imperialis, which also included Adeptus Titanicus in mind when I created this. But a little something I realized, and I forgot to mention that, with a piece like this, there is nothing on it that kind of tells you the scale of the piece, unlike any of my other buildings, which have very obvious floors where people would be uh, on. With this one, there's nothing telling you exactly how big this is in relative to a human figure. So if we really, really wanted to, couldn't we just also... 40K. Miniature works pretty dang well in here, so you can use this as a smaller version for a 40... or smaller scale version or larger piece for 40K games, as well as this... I mean, honestly, this looks like a fantastic addition for a uh, Necromunda setting as well. And if I get a lot of people saying, yes, this works great for Necromunda, what I could probably end up doing is taking this piece out and actually creating a uh, vertical pipe going up, kind of to show like, hey, this is in the underhive and we got roofs up here. So um, let me know if you think this would be great for Necromunda and maybe I will add that in. Uh, as a little extra piece. I am mean, honestly, a pipeline is not going to be a big uh, design hassle. So, look into that. But again, a little afterthought on the pipeline. Like I said, it, I mean, I did not plan this at all. And I just love how it's basically perfect height there for my Black Templar to shoot over, especially on the damaged ones. So, yeah, let me know what you think of this, and if uh, yeah, if I if you agree with me that this could make a good piece for a 40k or Necromunda style game. All right, thanks. So thanks again. Talk to you later. Bye.